So one of the concepts about aging in place, one of the strategies, I guess I would say, for aging in place is shared housing. The idea that by sharing resources, in this case a home, and uh, things like utilities and water and other things that come with a residence, that you can live more cost effectively and better for longer. It's also a fabulous strategy against isolation, which can be a tremendous problem um, when you're older. People can be completely shut out from the rest of the world, and when they are, that's when they have the most um, extreme health problems, the most extreme psychological problems, the most extreme emotional problems. Isolation is a huge killer. Um, so shared housing is a strategy for avoiding those kind of things. The way this connects to a village, though, is that shared housing provides you with benefits with inside the home. But if you have two older people, each of those older people may have additional needs. They may have needs for transportation, which they can't provide with just the two of them. They may have needs for someone to come in and help them with more vigorous cleaning, which they can't do. They may need someone to take them to the grocery store. They may need someone to help rake their leaves. They have benefits for themselves, but there are still going to be needs that are not addressed by shared housing. If these people live inside a village, then they get the benefits of shared housing and all of the socialization and all of the support and all of the emotional companionship that they need to have. But they also have a full range of other services that can be delivered, which will enable both residents of the house to be able to age in place.